What's going on guys, Justin Fuller here, and today I'm out in Bernie, Texas, a little bit north of San Antonio at Bernie Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, and we're getting these guys set up to track their keys and track their cars, so they don't have to wander the lot anymore, hitting the alarm trying to find a car, or trying to find a key because somebody took it home, took it to lunch, shoved it in a desk, or dropped it somewhere. So let's hop on in and show you exactly how we do it. All right guys, so if you wanna start tracking your keys in your cars, the first thing we're gonna to have to do is set up a network and it consists of a couple things. The first being these solar powered gateways, right? So typically what I'll do is I'll run these up light poles, much like the one I'm standing next to, so that we can connect these up. They're solar powered, so they hold about two months worth of charge. You don't have to run power lines or anything like that. A very simple setup. Now, that's what we're gonna use on the outside of the building. Now, inside of the buildings, we're gonna use something a little bit smaller. We're gonna use these interior gateways right here, about the size of half a deck of cards, plugs into a USB or a power outlet. And this is what's gonna allow you to see those keys in those cars as they float around inside the building. Now, all of these are gonna talk to a base station, which looks a lot like a wireless router, and this is gonna hold those data points. When you would open up the phone app, or you open up the desktop dashboard, and you run a search for a key or a car, or anything else you wanna track, that's what's gonna pull it up. All right guys, so step one was to set up the network. Step two is to connect hardware to the vehicles and the keys that you can start tracking. So let's go over what the basics to that are. So for your keys, I'm typically gonna use these small triangle tags, about the size of a quarter, with a QR code on the back that's gonna allow you to scan it and connect it to a specific key to a specific car, right? Now on the vehicles, typically I'm gonna use these hanging tags, right? So simply throw this around the rear mirror and it's gonna allow you to track. And same thing on the back, I've got a QR code and a number, and I'll explain when we hop into the phone app next how to connect up a specific tag, a specific key tag to a specific piece of inventory. Now, understand that I have tags outside of this. So these are my basic tags for tracking on and around the campus. Now, if you're looking for something related to that, you know, potentially people are stealing wheels off of something like this 1500, or maybe the Cali converter or the whole car, know that you can also get these set up with motion alerts. So if it moves in the middle of the night, you can get sent an alert, or you can have it sent to your security company so that they can make sure nobody's potentially trying to steal a vehicle off your lot. Now, I can take that one step further. I also offer, uh, you know, tags that'll track on campus and off campus. So for that sake, I offer OBD2 devices, which will track if you're just using like, you know, for loaner vehicles, that sort of thing. Uh, but if you're worried about somebody pulling something like that out, I also offer battery packs that you can hide. So whether you wanna put it in the glove box with a spare, you wanna mount it on a magnet and put it underneath the car, I offer something like that as well. All right guys, so next up, we're gonna hop into the phone app and that's where I'm gonna show you how to connect specific tags to keys and specific vehicles. And then two, how do I run a search? So I'm not aimlessly wandering around the lot with my car hitting the alarm, trying to find it, hoping that, oh, it's somewhere over there, I can hear it. Let's go wander around and look for it. What's going on guys? So here we are on the phone app, right? And I'm mirroring it over to the screen here just so you can see what this is gonna look like to, of course, run a search, find a key, find a car, find anything else that you've tagged, right, with one of these tags. Uh, and then of course, how do I connect these to specific keys, all right? Or how do I connect these to specific cars? And then lastly, and what I wanna start on is the dashboard down here, this third button down. And this is just gonna give you kind of some general overview of info, right? So I'm gonna jump into the dashboard first, right? So we're gonna click into that and it's gonna pull up and show me last sightings. Now, these guys aren't tracking their inventory, they're tracking their keys with us, but on here, I can quickly pull this up, and if I'm a manager, I can understand, hey, in the last 24 to 72 hours, I have four different keys that have left the lot and weren't seen for a large period of time, right? 24 hours. So I could click in there, and then it'll present me with these. Now, at this point, these may have made it back on the lot, but chances are, I might have loaned these cars out, right? So key-wise, if the key left the lot, I know that it probably left with the car, so I can start looking at this, right? This Dodge Durango, Dodge Durango, all right, maybe we're doing some of that. These manual entries are most likely trade-ins that they've taken in, right? And if it's a trade-in, then we can understand that, okay, maybe it went to a third-party vendor, maybe it had a recall, whatever it may be, right? But I could quickly look these up in a managerial log and see what's going on with them, right? So easy enough to understand last sightings as far as things that have left the lot and haven't come back onto this. Now, if these guys were tracking their vehicles, we could do this as well. So when you wanna start, you know, limiting potential theft and things like that, you can do this for keys and cars. Now, additionally, I can set up to where uh, if, if keys or cars are gone for an extended period of time, whatever window you pick, you can get alerts sent. So if you want an email each morning uh, with this to know, hey, I've got this list of these four cars or eight cars or whatever it may be, you could absolutely get that. Now, locations of inventory, I'm gonna jump over to location of keys because they're specifically tracking keys. And this is gonna show me. So again, as a manager looking at this, I wanna know, let's say it's the end of a night. I could scroll through this list really easily and understand if I have keys that are out on the lot, right? At spray booth, maybe where it's not locked up uh, or customer employee parking. Why do I have a key out there? Even so right now during business hours, 
why do I have a key out there, right? So I wanna go, why do I have this 2022 Ram key sitting out on the lot? And I can pull it up and see exactly where it's sitting on the lot, and that way I know where that key is, and you can see in what geofence, right, that network that we've set up, where it's currently living as well. So it's telling me it's in the employee parking area, in customer parking, and then showing me on the map as well. Now, if I got over there, right, I would appear as a blue dot on this map, and if I couldn't find it, I could hit this find a tag button, and it'll start pinging that key really fast. And as it does where it's thinking right now, a white ball will appear, and as I walk closer to it, it'll move down into the immediate section. As I walk the wrong way, it'll move into that far section. So a little bit of a game of hot and cold or like using a metal detector. So understand that this will actually walk you right up to that key, right? So very cool little to do that. So as I step back from this, right, I wanna to talk to you again about just understanding where do I have things living. Now, if we set up uh, a gateway over at a third party vendor that maybe does tent for you or wet sanding or body work, you would know if you have keys over there as well. So then you would also know that the car is over there, right? So. A lot of people want to know where both are, uh, just from an efficiency standpoint, but if you just want to do one, you absolutely can, and how helpful would this be to be able to look over and go, oh, at my top service shop, let's pretend that's a third-party vendor for a second, I've got 24 cars over there, right? Maybe that's a, an off-site vendor, right? It's a, a third-party detail team, whatever it may be, you could have this list of these different areas uh, and know where their key is there or not. So just kind of nice to know that you can have it. So that's just the dashboard, right? A lot of different info. And when we hop over to the actual desktop dashboard, I'll show you where you can view this and, and sort it and do some different things with it, a little bit more in depth, right? So let's go back to just find a key and find a car, right? So if I wanna search out a key in a car, let's say I had part of a stock number, right? So I'm gonna go six two, I think six eight was one I saw earlier. Uh, and it pulls it up and says, yeah, it's a 22 Dodge Durango. So maybe my customer says, yeah, this is the one that I saw. And I go, oh, okay, it says 22 Dodge Durango. Yeah, okay, well, I can see the, ca the keys tag. Boom, it tells me where the key is at. So this key is actually out on the pre-owned lot right now in the southwest corner. So chances are it's in someone's pocket out there. Uh, but if not, and I know this is the end of the night or something's going on, I know that the key isn't in the key machine. It's not on the pegboard, right? It's not in that service bay in the metal bin that y'all keep your keys in. Wherever you're storing keys, it's not there, right? So a very quick way to be able to do this. Now there may be a note a tied to this, right? I may have tied a note that says, uh, you know, keys checked out, there's a, a recall on it, we're sending it out, or you know, needs work done, or anything, right? Note-wise, I could drop in a note that says, you know, if this is a used car, hey man, maybe it has a, a distinct smell, it smells like smoke. Uh, maybe there's damage to the left bumper that we're either not gonna fix or we'll fix, but it's gonna affect the cost of the car, right? All these different things that you could add in notes. On top of that, you can check cars out. So up here, there's a button you can press, and you can see like a car with a box around it. So I can select that, and then they don't have any dispositions set up, but I can set up a disposition for, let's say, dead battery, recall, right? Third-party vendor, different reasons that we would check it out and why, right? Now, if it's checked out with a disposition, when you're looking at this car, it'll highlight it in red. Right, so you see a red box around this. Great for like dead batteries and stuff like that because before I walk out of that car with a customer, I wanna know that there's something going on and be like, hey, let me pull up this note real quick, check. Oh, I can see it has a dead battery. So I either need to go jump it first or no, hey, let me grab you a different one because that one's actually blocked in or whatever you wanna say. Uh, and you could send a porter to go jump it for you and then pull it around after. Let me get you inside of this one and then I'll go grab that one. It's in the back. I think somebody's doing work on it, right? We just got it in there, PDI, whatever you wanna come up with. Right, so just know that you can do some different things related to this. So finding a key, finding a car, not hard to do. Now let's talk about connecting tags, right? So uh, first off, I wanna talk about keys since that's what these guys are doing, right? Connecting a key tag and on the back of this tag, there's a QR code that you can connect it up. And then car tags, same thing, throw this around the rearview mirror and on the back, there's a QR code that you can connect it uh, up with. So very easy process, hit that true tag management and then I go find a car. So for the sake of this, let's pretend that this is 22 Acura MDX right here, right? Tag a key, hit that to tag the key button, you know, the key tag, right? Uh, tag a car, hit that. Very simple process here. So tag a key, I'm gonna hit that. And then on here, tag the key. And then I'm actually gonna hit this QR scanner button here. It looks like a little QR code reader right there. And if I hit that, what I can do is I can actually just scan the code on the back, right? So boom, let it scan, pick it up and assign it. Now, obviously this tag isn't registered to this dealership, it's just a dead promo tag. But all I'd have to do at that point is hit, okay, assign. Same thing for the car, right? Grab the car tag, flip it over on the back and then hit that tag car button. And then same thing, I'm just gonna let it read that QR code, right? So let it pick it up and then boom, let it assign it, right? Obviously, same thing with this tag. Uh, it's not an actual live tag. So once I've done that, I would see uh, both tags living on the screen. Uh, so I would see them listed below here. So I would see a, a key tag and a car tag listed there, right? So easy enough to understand. Uh, and then from there, I can move along with my day. So very easy in the process of walking out to a, a truck full of cars that are coming off, whether they're new, whether uh, they're something we bought at auction, I can take a pile of these in both pockets and connect them up as we go. So the minute a car starts rolling through that recon process, um, you'd be able to track the keys in the cars. To take it one step further, if you had a recon software, man, this could start checking itself in and out of each step. 
uh, and of course, automating that entire process to where now you don't gotta mess with remembering to check the car in and check it out when you do your work. Nah, the minute this rolls into that bay, we can geofence it off with that network we've already set up to where it checks it in, and when the car leaves the bay, checks it out. So that way you can time exactly how long that guy is spending with those specific vehicles. Uh, and then at any point while those guys are doing work, guess what? They can find the car and the key to do the work. Right, so you can make everything more efficient, the people in the process and the entire process. So that's true recon. If you want to learn more about that, I can. Uh, we, we've got other videos, but you can always reach out to me. So we now understand how to run a search. We understand how to connect up tags and that dashboard of hey, how can I see some different in, uh, different info? Right. So let's hop over to the desktop dashboard and I'll show you even more. All right, guys. So here we are on the desktop dashboard, and the first thing I've pulled up is I have every single key pulled up, right? And I can zoom in and out and do all these different things, and I can even tilt the map and do some cool stuff where you can start looking at it a little bit more 3D uh, and start flipping things around. So if you like a certain orientation to the map, you absolutely can. But on here, what I want to point out is something that you could see earlier, and that's all those areas that I've geofenced off and named. Right, so all these different areas of this dealership, you can see Bernie showroom, pre-owned lot, you know, customer parking, everything, right? So this is where those keys and cars are gonna ultimately live, uh, or anything else that you tag, right? If you tag jump boxes, dealer plates, golf carts, whatever it may be, uh, hell, parts, I don't care, you, anything. Um, so this way you'll know what's out on the lot. But the first thing I've pulled up here is simply, I've turned it from vehicles to keys since these guys are only tracking keys. Now I can do counts if you just wanna see counts to where stuff is, but I like the pins, because at the end of a night, how nice is it that I can hit one button and immediately see any keys that might be left out on the lot or left somewhere they shouldn't be, right? Because at that point, everything should make it back in a building, right? I should be able to look at this map, right? Let me zoom out just a little bit and make sure if I got a key sitting out here, I want to be able to hover over it and go, okay, NG11460OT, right? Let me grab a sales guy. Hey, put this into your, your app and go find this key. It's out on the lot or it's in a car, right? I need to locate this key. Right, any of these that are left out here, because everything should be back inside of a building at the end of the night. So great way to use this as far as a closing duty. Right, so just kind of get you started off here. Now up here at the top, all these different tabs that you're going to see up here that I can scroll across. These are all those same things we saw on the phone when I was looking through the dashboard. Right, so if I want to see my keys that are tagged, boom, give me a list of all those keys. I can even turn the map off and make this an exportable and sortable list. Right, so if I want to sort this by days in inventory, right, boom, pull it up and let me do it. If I want to sort by year, make and model, I can do that. So all these different ways that I can use this list. And then if I want to export it, just simply hit this button over here, export to CSV, boom, you see it down here, it pops up, it's exporting, right? Very simple to do. So I'm gonna clear out that search and turn the map back on here. Um, same thing, use keys, if I want to do that, I can do that as well, or I can view all of my keys as you saw I was doing earlier. All I gotta do is clear out my searches. Now across the top here, no location of inventory because they aren't tracking their inventory, but they are tracking their keys. And what's helpful about this is once again, like I said, you could look across this really quick as a manager and go, okay, I got one in customer parking, a key out there. Now ah, what's going on with that one? Click on the list, boom, it'll present me with it. I can turn on the pin, it'll show me where it is. And then I can even click into it, right? At this point, I could look in here uh, and maybe I want to come over here and go, okay, well there, you know, let me look at any details on it. This is pulling across from your inventory feed. Vehicle activity, do we have some sort of note connected to this, right? Is there a reason something's going on? And this is those same things, those checkout dispositions that we talked about earlier. We, you can create custom ones for your store. Um, or if you're just checking it out because you're going for a test drive or you need to tag some, right, for a specific message. Maybe you're tagging your sales manager, hey, I'm borrowing this car overnight per so-and-so, right, and tag them. Uh, just so if anything comes up, uh, you've got something to cover your back, right? Uh, if loan or paperwork can be filled out or, or you're borrowing it spe specifically for yourself, not for a customer. Right, so very easy to understand and look at all these different things. But ultimately, I want to be able to look at here and go, hey, I've got one over at the detail lot. Hey, what car is over there and what are they working on, right? If I've got seven of them over there, are they doing okay? What cars are they working on? Maybe somebody wants to show that car, right? If I have something working its way through recon. So very easy to understand this process and see where things are. As I continue to scroll across here, a lot of cool things. Last sightings we talked about, right? If I want to see uh, keys that I haven't seen in the last 72 plus hours, I can simply click on that part of the list and it'll present me with that list over here. Same thing, I can turn off the, the map and start to sort this by days and inventory and all kinds of different things and start to check notes, right? I can click on notes in here and see if there's some specific reason that we haven't seen this key. If not, why not be able to run a search on these, uh, these stock numbers right here and understand if we've loaned them out, we've sent them out for recall. Maybe they just haven't dropped the note in here, but they put it in a managerial log or whatever it may be, right? So very easy to understand and manage your assets. As I come across manual entries, this is where anything that isn't currently in the inventory will feed will live, right? So if I took in a trade and I want to I, I want to tag that, I absolutely could do it and it would live over here. But also anything else that I would tag, right, that isn't um, going to be just simply a stock number. Maybe it's a gas car. Maybe it's a dealer plate. Maybe it's a golf cart, right? Maybe it's a jump box. Whatever it may be, that would live over here as well. 
Um, now, I will say once these stock numbers land in the inventory feed, it'll merge them and push them across, and then they'll disappear off this list. So when you're tagging stuff that isn't in your inventory feed yet, know that that's not a big deal. It'll merge as long as you use a stock number, complete stock number, or VIN. Um, now, if you are tracking cards, you could look at photo status as well, and this will play a role for understanding, hey, I've got cards that don't have photos versus having them, and then be able to sort them, search by days in inventory, all those different things. But for a very simple setup of, hey, I just wanna know where keys are, this is all you gotta do, right? Turn on my keys, I can turn on my pins, I can see where stuff is living. These are all those manual entries we just did, but if I wanna clear that out, boom, see this, right? So at the end of a night, I can come in here and manage, hey, is there anything that's out on the lot that isn't where it should be? Uh, I can manage that, and then of course in the mornings for an opening duty, I can make sure that I'm seeing any keys that have left the lot and haven't been back in a while. Hey, do I have any kind of notices on them or loaner paperwork, or do I potentially have theft on my hands? Now, as far as running those same searches we talked about earlier, up here I could type in that 6268 that we looked uh, up, boom, shows me where that key is at, I can click on it, uh, and then I can jump in and see any of the other stuff, right? Vehicle details, right, because it's pulling across from the inventory feed to connect this stock number. Uh, any vehicle activity, you know, checking it out, and then the recall, stuff like that, right? So easy enough, even when I'm doing just keys, I can still get some of this basic inventory uh, info that I'm pulling across from your, your DMS or your inventory feed, depending on which feed you provide. All right, guys, so that's a quick rundown of the Lot Management 360 tool as far as teaching you how to track keys, track cars, dealer plates, golf carts, temp tags, whatever it is on your lot that seems to grow legs and wander off. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or you wanna talk about pricing, all of my info is gonna be at the end of this video. You will see it, uh, and it'll be down in the description so you can reach out to me to set up a demo so we can go over your store, uh, figure out pricing for you. How many key tags do you need? How many car tags do you need? How many locations do you wanna track at? All those different things, and of course, I'm sure you have questions as to how this will work and how it can apply at your particular store. So feel free to give me a call, text, email. I'm here to help you out, and we look forward to doing business with you.